when you come from the idea of it's a creative process, like at our, at our, you know, highest essence, we are creators. This is, this whole thing is the, it is a constantly transforming creative process. Um, yeah, then this is just like another stage in the creation, another part of the creation. Yeah. And, uh, we are, we are the creation. We are the creators itself. We are just like an, uh, another limb of the creation, another layer, another level of that mm -hmm. creation. And yeah, we're just figuring that out, a new aspect of this creation, it seems. Yeah. That's also miraculous to me, is finding out that we do have that essence of creation. I feel as though that's what humans are. If you want to put one label on what a human being is, if just one, just one. I would say mm -hmm. we are creators. That's what we are, just plain and simple. In all of our own unique ways, billions and billions of us, we all have this knack to create something out of seemingly nothing, even though that's duality. There's no such thing as something and nothing. But if you take like, you know, a book or this podcast or anything, we create like something out of seemingly like our imaginations, like something that isn't something yet. And we, we make it. And that to me, yeah, that's like, that's something special about that to create something out of nothing. And that is, could also be looked at as a metaphor for our reality. Like this is something that came out of nothing. And we're just like a representation of that. We're like a addition to God, you know, we're like a, we're like a, uh, another step into we are God like beings in that way. We create mm -hmm. stuff out of stuff that isn't stuff yet. <laughs> Well, that's true. Yeah. And it's what's also true is that we're self created which I think is the most interesting thing. Um, but the thing that most of us overlook, because we tend to, and it seems to be a common story that uh, I'm just the way I am, because that's just the way I am. But mm. we actually have choice. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be you're not stuck with anything. You can change it all, anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's amazing because I don't know, um, I don't observe that in other beings. Mm. They don't seem to have that capacity for self-creation. No, unfortunately, no. Well, I don't know if it's unfortunate or not. It just is, but like, a rock doesn't seem to be able to change itself. Mm. It seems to be what it is. And uh, do a dog seems to be what it is. You know, the dog does not seem to be able to, it, you know, the dog turns around before it lies down and it doesn't seem to be able to change that. Mm. Yeah. But a human can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something very divine about that. Mm -hmm. even though we there is stipulations to our creation i can't just go like this and create anything out of thin air we can like manipulate our environment and that is something very very special for sure it's something very divine and not i would say not you can't do that yet yeah yeah exactly <laughs> or you don't know that you can do it yet yeah yeah i mean actually in a sense you are doing that all the time uh because that's all of this is all of this is appearing and disappearing constantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, it is all appearing out of thin air uh, through, through, and you're doing it. But <laughs> yeah. it is true that most of us haven't yet developed that degree of self-knowledge to do it in that way. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think that is what the path alludes to as well as is true self empowerment, mm -hmm. coming to terms with our creativity and really what that means. And, uh, to me personally speaking, it's like a never ending process. It's like continually, it's a sense of continual growth. Like the creativity never stops. It gets more and more novel. I feel, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's just the way of things. The creativity just gets. The creativity just builds upon the creativity and, and so forth. It just keeps going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another miracle right there, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm.